Hey, YouTubers, good morning, Rob Mavid. You guys want to talk about lanyards, <laughs> camera lanyards, neck lanyards. I don't know why anybody doesn't use them. I hardly ever see any photographers using them, but, you know, for years, I took photographs, and then I purchased a phone and used the camera on my phone. I stopped taking photographs. And recently, I got a old camera, stylus, Olympus stylus, TG630. It's nothing special. It's old, used, inexpensive camera, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I needed to hold on to it better. And I, I got this lanyard, and I started thinking about all the advantages of a lanyard. There's 10. Who knew? So we're going to be talking about the, uh, the, the benefits and the opportunities and the wonderfulness of of neck lanyards. First of all, number one, let's say you're Carl Kolchak, you're the Night Stalker, and you're out somewhere and you're you're getting ready. It's about 11 minutes into the show, and the werewolf comes in and shocks you. If you have a regular camera, you're going to drop it. If you have, if you have the it, there we go. If we have it gripped correct, you've, you're holding on in four places. This finger, this finger, this finger, this thumb, and in this ring that's attached to the lanyard. So when the werewolf comes in, the camera's not going anywhere. It's there for the duration of the show. So you have an excellent, do better than that, Bob. You can have an excellent way to have rock solid control grip of your camera with the lanyard with your eyes closed. It's not going anywhere. And, and you still have control of the, the camera with this hand if this hand is needed for something else. So that's probably one of the main advantages. Another advantage is you can use it as a kind of a crude body cam. There is a danger that the camera, if you're walking around, can flop over to like this. Um, but I've used it and surprisingly gotten some decent footage. The There is not major stabilization with this camera, so you do have a little bit of a bounce. But now, <clears throat> there is a danger that if you're out someplace and you have this around your neck and you're some places you may run into people who do want to have you filming and you don't want to have something around your neck but my my philosophy is if you're going someplace where you have to worry about somebody choking you with your lanyard you don't want to go <laughs> don't go and if you do have to go um go to bc truck and get you a neck knife <laughs> bc truck he makes these very very inexpensively handmade So BC Truck makes these. They're extraordinary value. I recommend them highly. I also recommend you don't go to places where you need a neck knife <laughs> or have to worry about your camera that you're using as a body cam being turned into a garrot. <laughs> um, if you're someplace around the water and you have sharks being fed or tarpon or alligators and you don't want to stick your hand with your camera, you can use your lanyard to put, because this is waterproof, you can put your camera underwater with your lanyard. Um, it's also very good if you're someplace on the fly. You can attach this to the wall. So you can have this as a wall mount or on a tree or someplace. So that's very handy. So you can have different ways to, to capture your film without a tripod. If you're in Florida, they recently repealed the law against flails. I love that so much when I saw that. A flail is a heavy object on the end of a rope that people use. For the... I often thought when I was younger, a self-defense weapon would be one of those old steel Argus brick 35 millimeter cameras that looked just like a brick. They had real sharp corners. And you used to be able to get them in a thrift store for like $3 because nobody used them. But they were heavy and they were built like a tank. I always thought it would be really good to get one and fill it full of cement and a piece of lead 
and then put a stainless steel eye bolt inside. So we're set up inside the concrete and you have the eye bolt on the outside and then get a long lanyard and attach to the eye bolt and then fold up the lanyard and it's smaller. So it look like a real small lanyard, put tape around it. Then if you need it, you could just pull and the tape would break and you'd have a real long lanyard or rope tied to that brick full of cement and lead with the sharp corners. You could knock out a hippopotamus. Flails are underestimated. <laughs> and I'm glad to live in a state that finally brought back the right for people to use and uh, have flails on their person. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to be talking about flails in this video, did you? Another great thing about this you know, lanyard is if, if you lose the camera, it's a lot easier to find when there's got something on it like this. Um, it's also good if you're trying to film people, but you want to make sure they know you're filming because a lot of people don't like you to take their photograph or video. They don't like it a lot. However, if they find out you've been taking it surreptitiously on the sly, being sneaky about it, they get more than upset. <laughs> they can get physical. So if you've got this around your neck, nobody is going to think you're trying to be slick. This pretty much says, look, I have a camera. I'm filming. So if you if you want to film and you want to make sure that people can see what you're doing, and so there's no surprises. Um, yeah. Another thing is when you go places, a lot of times if you're filming, they don't want any filming done. Like, But if you're a tourist, they kind of let you go. But if they think you're doing something for money or it's a professional guy, a person out there doing a real work, but if they think you're a tourist, they kind of leave you alone. And this, this says, <laughs> this says tourist. So you could get by with a lot of stuff with something like this and nobody would ever think you were doing anything that amounted to anything. So um, when you go to the beach, this is good to put around your neck because this is waterproof. You can attach your keys and other things that you don't want to get lost. You want to be careful though when your keys are hanging down. If they're real shiny, you could find a barracuda. <laughs> Very interested in stuff around your neck. So that's not always a good thing. Last one, number 10. When I thought about this earlier, I was getting tears in my eye. When you get old and they take your camera away and they send you to the assisted living facility, then they put a key on this so you can wear it around your neck and, and you always have a way to get back into your room and you don't lose your key when you're getting old and living in the assisted living facility or nursing home. You can, you can, uh, that wasn't a fun ending. This was my mom's. I was thinking about this, about finding something. And I said, well, she has a, she has a, a lanyard around her somewhere that I kept. And I found it and I've been using it and I think I think she'd enjoy the fact that I was using it for something other than to hold on to a key to get back into my room so guys there's ten ways reasons you can use a neck lanyard for your camera and like I tell you this is this is a really handy way to hold on to the camera because you've got, beep, there you go. You want to have no slack on the line and then you've got a thumb and three fingers and the line. So you've got, you've got, actually you've got five points of attachment onto the camera. So I, I don't know how you get any more solid. So. Either I've given you some entertainment or helpful information or I've just wasted your time. Hopefully the first two, not the last. Um, put on new videos every week. Been doing it for 17 years now. Variety channel, you never know what you're going to find because I never know what I'm going to have. We could have more flail videos next week. <laughs> Go get your neck knife from Brad. All right, guys. Take care. See you out there.